Your Excellency, uh, the Governor, first I must um, uh, publicly again acknowledge and appreciate the honor done to me by His Royal Highness, the Emir of Lafia, when he accorded me the title of Madugun Jiha of Nasara State. It's a very important title, and I intend to take it very seriously indeed. In fact, uh, His, His Royal Highness has given me a sword, a very sharp and uh, big sword, which I'm supposed to use against all the enemies of the state and against the enemies of our nation. I must, uh, I, I want to really uh, thank um, through you, Excellency, uh, the Right Honorable Justice Bage, the Emir, for this very kind uh, gesture. The Nassau State Infectious Diseases Diagnostic and the Diagnosis and Research Center is a landmark achievement. There is no question at all that anywhere in the world this type of achievement deserves to be celebrated. But I think that perhaps for me uh, the underlying lessons to be learned from this very important achievement are about three things. The first is vision. That vision is critical especially in development and that money is not everything. As a matter of fact, if you have the funds and you do not have the vision, you will achieve nothing. But if you have a vision, you will most likely attract money. Nasara state is not by any means uh, the wealthiest state in the country. In fact, if you look at if you look at what Nasara State earns and what is allocated, it certainly doesn't come anywhere near the top one third. But with a vision, the state has proved that vision is even more important than money. And I want to commend uh, His Excellency Governor, uh, former Governor Tanko Makura who conceived of this place as uh, properly acknowledged by His Excellency the Governor, conceived of this idea and started the project. But perhaps the second lesson to learn is that vision itself can be killed if your successor does not have a big enough mind, if your successor is small-minded. If your successor is small-minded, vision means nothing. Continuity is not just one party succeeding another. It is, it is the very notion that when you succeed someone, you develop all of the great ideas that they started. You build on vision. And I think His Excellency the Governor has proved that by building on the great vision of Governor Tanko Makura and has brought us to this place today that we're able to celebrate a notable scientific and technological achievement. But I think perhaps for me the third and uh, perhaps most important lesson is that this country has everything that it takes to be the best anywhere in the world. We have everything it takes. We have the talents, we have men and women of vision, and we have all of the resources that it takes to be just as good as any anywhere in the world. As we've heard, the center here comprises a biosafety level three laboratory, a molecular biology laboratory, an infectious diseases isolation unit, and an epidemiology unit as well. And we are told 
that these are top of the class, first-rate facilities that you could find anywhere in the world. This is, so this is not just some Mickey Mouse tiny little achievement. This is a phenomenal achievement in technology terms and it has been done and fulfilled by Nigerians and done here in Nigeria. So I think that we, I think we should congratulate ourselves and we should, and that we should really hold our heads up high. For those of us who are as tall as the governor, we can walk tall. For those of us of more, of more modest uh, heights, we can tell you the long and the short of the story. All of it is good. <laughs> but I, I, I want to really, I want to really commend, I want to really commend uh, the His Excellency the Governor and his team for seeing that this project actually came to fruition and to fulfillment, and for making sure that they did it in grand style. And I also want to commend the governor for acknowledging the leadership and the vision of his predecessor. This is as it should be, and this, I think, demonstrates his own capacity, his own personal capacity, and his own uh, humility, and his own personal, and his own vision as well. I want to thank you all for uh, this, and to say that every thing that we're able to achieve, every little bit that we're able to achieve, adds greatly to the, to, to the greatness of our nation. Our nation is a great nation. And we must never despair, we must never despair. In the past few months, COVID, the economic circumstances, the figures, and some issues of security. But I can assure you that just as the scripture says, the scripture says that weeping may endure for a night, but that joy comes in the morning. I'm very assured, and, I con and I, I'm continually assured by the people of this country, by the kind of leadership that we have in our president, President Muhammad Buhari, who is focused. I want to say that I am very, very reassured that the dawn for this country is coming, that our greatness that our greatness is only hidden slightly now by the clouds, but that these clouds will clear and we will see for ourselves a great nation, the nation that God has purposed us to be. And that, and one of the things that tells us that so eloquently is what we're here to commission today. So it is my very special privilege and pleasure uh, to, and I'm sure that in a few minutes when we're, we walk over there, we will officially commission the first rate, best in class, first of its kind in West Africa, and perhaps even in Africa, the Nasarawa Infectious Diseases Diagnosis and Research Center. God bless you. Thank you very much.